Hey guys, it's Shay from Polygon Motion and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a very cool way to uh, track your keyframes using markers. What, what I mean by that is that we are using markers to actually change the position of keyframes, to control the keyframes. I have created a tutorial as well uh, in the last month, but now I'm going to show you guys how can you use this free script that calls easy keyframe triggers that I've uh, personally uh, written and developed and it's a very easy script as you can see it has uh, three buttons and we will go uh, into details of this script uh, later on but now uh, let me show you guys how can you control keyframes using markers and how can uh, this workflow, this 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 process, uh, make your life very very easier if you have hundreds of layers on your timeline, in your timeline, and after effect. So as you can see in here, I have a very cool and simple animation of uh, a loading circle or whatever you call it. Uh, with this percentage, as long as this circle and this line goes a reach to this spine, it will. Uh, the, the percentage goes to 100 and change to 100. So as you can see, I have two marker in here, in and out animation. If I change to in, as you can see, it it, it just automatically reset, uh, reset the animation. And if I scrap, you see the animation is a star, the point that the marker, the position, the exact position of the in animation marker and the out is same as well. If I If I change this, you see that it will automatically reset the animation and adjust it to this marker position. And it's very cool. You don't need to go to properties, keyframe. You, you can do this with expression as well. And what this script does is add expression to the selected properties, but it will help uh, most of the beginners, most of the people who are new to After Effects. And most of the most of the people who are, who are just start using After Effects, they are hitting expression. I myself, I, I, do, I, I didn't like uh, expression, but as long as you go deep inside of After Effects, you, you're going to like expressions and you will want to use them. So guys, download this script for free uh, from the link below in the description, I put the link and just unzip the file and if you don't know how to, how to install a script, as you can see in here, I have this script uh, already unzipped, it's a JSX bin file, binary file and uh, it contains a readme file as well if you want you can just um, learn how to use it so uh, go to your after effect folder in my case program file adobe adobe after effect cc 2019 and using this and uh, go to support file and in support file we have a folder called scripts go to scripts and then here you see a bunch of other scripts there are pre uh, installed and your a script if you already installed so uh, simply drag this easy keyframe trigger copy it go to a script UI panel and paste it in here continue and yes script UI panel does is when you load up After Effects it will uh, load your script and you do need to go to file and run a script although you can use uh, use it like this run a script file and choose the script make sure to choose J uh, JavaScript binary file and choose the script and it will run it but if you copy it to a script UI panel it will show up in here and you don't need to find a script and things like that so I already opened this so I have uh, deleted all of the markers and expressions and things like that and we have a clean uh, project like this so what it uh, this project is very simple I used uh, a trim pad for this uh, line in here as you can see it's a trim pad and uh, I just animated the end point like this to let me just animate it again we are going to animate the end point just end and go to maybe one frame and put it 100 and uh, you see that as long as i change the number here and uh, here and end you see that uh, the number the the actual percentages change as well what i've done for it is just link the source text of uh, source text to the 
value of this n. So as long as we change the value of uh, our property, it will change the text as well. So it is very easy. And let's uh, change these to keyframe, uh, easy ease keyframes to have a very smooth animation. And as you can see, we have a very cool animation. So for this particular uh, example, it is very easy because we have just one or two layer we can actually press you on the keyboard and change the the keyframe interpolation and duration and, and a space between two keyframes but imagine if you have uh, 15 layers or 20 layers it is very painful to just search for the properties and hit you and change the duration things like that and now this script comes comes handy. I've written this script myself, and uh, you can use it. It's free for personal, for commercial use. Uh, don't worry about that. You can use it for free. And uh, now let's start to link these keyframes to markers. Just select your main layer in here, and in here you see that we have two patterns in and out animation in animation is the starring marker the first marker that controls the first keyframe and the out animation is controlling the last keyframe or the second keyframe and just click in animation you see we have a marker calls in animation and just click on out animation and we have a mark called out animation so just press u and select the property that you have animated and in my case it's in just select this in just one click choose add trigger and now the magic has happened <laughs> you see that my animation is reset why because start on the exact position of my marker and here as you can see if I change this to simply collapse this and change this to first frame sorry first frame and move this way up to the end of the composition in here. As you can see, if I play this, <clears throat> it will go way to the exact same position of the uh, last marker, the second marker. And if I change this in here, you see that the animation is fast and it will reach to 100 very fastly uh, where the the position of these markers so guys that was it that was from this script just download this install and it, it will just speed up your process sometimes if you are a template errors if you just create project for yourself to use it on future or you are a free a freelancer create one project and use it for different clients and just customize it you can use this script for free and uh, I will update this script for for more uh, ease of use maybe for uh, adding uh, markers to a pre-comp pre layer, uh, some cool stuff in the future. And hope you guys enjoy from this tutorial. Don't forget to check out other Polygon Motion tutorials and please, please don't forget to subscribe uh, to Polygon Motion. And uh, my name is Ashir. See you guys next time.